I want to know maybe how much capital will I need in starting something. We can use like some number to start to do the estimates. Okay. Like how much do you think I can um I can need to start something like similar, something small as a big farm. So when you have all your stretches available, uh -huh. we have your water system, everything is flowing. It will be the number of things you want to start with. Okay. But at least um if you have 10,000. I'm very sure you can okay. get a number of picks okay. to, to start it. And 10,000, honestly, by one year time, if you are serious, uh, you are going to boom. Okay. It's going to be big for you. Nice. Provided you have the right breeze and the correct type of, type of picks. Um, at least minimum, not more. It could be more, but uh, when you have about 10,000, you can get a number of picks to, 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 to start it. So guys, I had the opportunity to visit EM Farms located at Apeu, some few hours or less than an hour drive from Accra and some few minutes drive from Adoso here in the eastern region of Ghana. So if you're a new beginner who is into the pig farming business or want to start your own pig farm and you need good breeds to start your farm with, look no further than EM Farms. They have good quality breeds who from their leaders you could see that yes, they give birth to healthy offsprings or healthy piglets that you can actually start your own farm and in no time, you have like a very large farm for yourself. If you are also into the food business, you have a pork joint, you are into um, food production for people, for consumers, look no further than EM Farms. From the videos I've done with them, which you can check on my YouTube channel, you can see that yes, they feed their pigs well with the quality feed, give them the right medication, so that even with their meat itself, when you see it, you could know that yes, there's less fat in the meat. And in this day and age where we all want to live good and healthy, at least it's best to get your pigs or your pox from the right place and to get good quality meat for yourself. So you can reach out to them, Use the contact number below or at least on their social media handles on Facebook at EM Farm Enterprise and on Instagram also at EM Farm Enterprise. At EM Farms, they say what a taste of quality. So look sharp and reach out to them for your good breeds and pucks today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Okay, it's a beautiful brand new day. Welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. You know, your first time seeing me. I'm Charles. And on this channel, we talk about farming and agriculture here in Africa. From the previous video, we had a farm tour of EM Farms, yeah. where Mr. Eugene took us around the farm to let us know what they have in here. And also, there are 200 capacity pig farm here in Ghana. And in today's video, if you watch the video and inspire to start your own farm, you want to learn something about pig farming as well, that's what we're going to look at in this video. How to start your own pig farm as a beginner. If you're already into the pig farming business and you want to pick some information that will be useful to you, to make sure you get good quality picks with good meat, just as EM uh, EM farms also have. I get to learn some few tricks as well. That would be good for you. So yes, um, before you get into it, make sure you like this video for me. Like so you to promote it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all grow together. As I always say, this year we intend to hit 100,000 subscribers before the year ends. We are close to the end of May, so yes, we have some few months to go. So please subscribe to the channel so we go together and share. The people out there only some of this information to be inspired to start their own farm. Some education to them so at least they can learn about it. Something that at least can help them on their farm. Also help them start their own farm here in Ghana. Without much ado, let's get to the video. So I'm sorry, Eugene. Yes, um, in this video, I want to know if I'm a beginner, I don't ask about pet farming, and I want to go into it. What are some of the things I'm supposed to take note of when starting my own pet farm? Uh, okay, okay. Um, to, to start a pig farming, you need to make a program okay. before you enter into pig farming because it's a whole lot of calculation altogether. Uh, you need to make a research to understand, make a research and understand the business that you want to enter. Yeah. Um, from there, we need to acquire a land. But before then, you need to have a business plan. Okay. You need to plan about how, to how, how you want to go about it. You need to get your land and your facilities. Um, you cannot, this pick, you cannot do it anywhere, especially close to town. So you have to make sure you think of outskirts, home. Okay. You need to consider all, all that. 
Then after getting the uh, facilities and the land, you need to think of breed. What type of breed are you going to rear in your farm to be able to make money? Because you are doing all because of money. Whatever you are doing is because of money that you are doing. Because you cannot rear any other animal when you take it to market. It's, so you have to f find out the breed and select good type of breed for. Uh, we need to think of uh, medication. Feeding and medication. It's not, it's not one. Okay. They are separate. You have to think about uh, how to boost their system by giving them medications to avoid infectious and all that sickness and all that. Uh, we need to think of uh, marketing. You can, you can, how about 200 pieces? It can be a business in your, in your, in your farm. <laughs> no, because, no, because, because we don't have, we don't have market. Okay. So before you enter into all this, you need to have the market strategy and all that. Okay. Uh, starting the pick business, you don't have to start it big. That's when, if you can, you can start something small, small stretcher, but small stretcher, you can start with a few animals, maybe about four or two or three, even one. Okay. Based on where you want to reach. So, to do all these things, you need to make a program before you can enter into. So, this is one, as I was saying, you need to do your research to understand the business. You need to find market, know your marketing strategy. That is, then also your business uh, planning, then your uh, medications. Uh, based on, on uh, uh, my, my farm like this, uh, every, every month I have a veterinary officer who visits the farm. There's every quarterly, he comes to inject all of them. But every month he visits the farm, some might be, not be too active. He'll be checking those things and be, be injecting them. So you need to consider all these medications and all that. Um, I think with this, if you're able to do all these programming, I think, uh, when you start a business, you will not suffer because already you have your market, you have you have means of medications, means of feeding. You you plan well to acquire a land outside, um, I mean a land in a bush, so that the community will not be embarrassing you. Your pigs are worrying, they are disturbing, the place is smelling, and all that. That uh, yeah. So these are some of the perspective things that um, we started up. To be able to reach this this level. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So let's let's break them down um, into smaller pits. Mm -hmm. This is so first the land acquisition. The land acquisition. So normally the land should be not be close to town. Yes. So normally the pigs sometimes they make noise and stuff. Mm -hmm. So at least mm -hmm. they can be disturbing people, which yeah. is like mm -hmm. which is key at least in doing that. Yeah. So if I'm starting, which much of the breed. Yeah. For those who don't know some of the breeds that we have, what are the various of breed that we have? Um, in my farm, based on the research and understand that I made before I started the production. I prefer to start with a large white okay. with sudden back. Sudden back is a it's in a form of black and white form of a, of pigs. Uh, they are not too common. But based on I, I said what I want, then I got it. Okay. So you need to make your research to 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 what steal what is exactly what 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 you what okay. you want. Okay. And then uh, with a goal like to make grow them for meat and also sell. So at least with these two breeds, you know, when it comes to meat, they kind of grow big. It can, it, it kind of grow big. You don't have problem with. It. That is why I chose these two. Okay. For them, we didn't we have any problem. Sure. Yeah, sure. with the marketing or with the meat or whatever. If you go by the system by giving them the right feed, right medication, and all that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I know there is a boar goat too. The, the durok, like yeah, that. The, the, the durok. Yeah. I know the one too. Like people are saying, like it's good and stuff. Yeah. But they are, they're like it's expensive. Um, durok is expensive, but um, actually, I'm looking for a durok to buy, but I want original one, correct one, because some <laughs> they bridge. are giving birth to 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 to. So if you don't take it, you buy the one you buy to not even be able to cross. Okay. So if you are getting the right one, Amon or Durok is the best. I will I will tell you. Okay. Amon, Amon or Durok is the best. That is why it's too expensive. Because that one, you don't mind to sell for you over seventy today per kilo. 
they don't mind to wow. see, mm, mm, over mm, for that one whether you feed it or don't feed it they meet the standard but though you have to feed it to, to be able to, to to maintain it well okay. yeah okay. so this so these are some of the some of the things yeah. medications is something that you cannot go 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 by it you have to make sure you give them the treatment you suppose so that it will it will it will go in positive side on the on the market for okay yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, what are some of the medications you give them and also um, what times basically we give them we deworm them as a living thing we need to deworm yeah. we deworm them we give them um multivitamins then we give them antibiotics then we have other medicines something like pen strip that's when a, a pig is hurt had a wound or something when you when you give such injection Maybe we didn't show it to her. Yes, so okay, it's so it was it the one that you gave the earlier? So you saw it. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah that's one. That's a pen, pen, pen strip. Pen strip. Pen strip. Pen strip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will show you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like the um the deworming. How often do you deworm them? We 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 does the deworming every three months. Okay. Every three months we do general deworming. Yeah. We give general multivitamins. We give general antibiotics okay but with the pen strip and then um auto cycling and we have other medicines which we give to to boost them okay yeah uh -huh. uh is a vet 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 uh responsible for all those things so but then the we farm. have we have them on 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 on, on, far, on, on at, the, at the farm so when he comes he select them he do what he's supposed to do then you go so every three months we do inject all of them Okay. But every month he visits to see something is going wrong, then he, he replace it. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Um, and, and, all, and all these things goes with money. Yeah. <laughs> all these things goes with money. Obviously, it's not very money. So, yes, as you brought in money, let me just. Yeah. So I want to say that these are some of the reasons why at least have to have to acquire your breeds, not just at your own pig farm. Mm. Acquire at least the piglets or the pigs that you have in here. You're going to take good care of them. Yeah. They are well fed, but they are well medicated to make sure at least. They are living good and they are healthy, able to eat well and grow. Now, as you mentioned, they, they go a lot of money and all of that. Um, this one, they have to help us with the Alice and the <laughs> If I'm a new beginner, who wants to go into pet farming? Yes. And um, I want to know maybe how much capital will I need in starting something? We can use like some number to start to do the estimates. Okay. Like how much do you think I can, um, I can need to start something like similar, something small? As a pig farm, as a so, so uh, how much I sell per kilo in my farm? It's not the same. You might also sell in your farm. Okay. Good. So, um, I don't want to mention an amount. I don't want to go there. <laughs> but when when you have all your stretches available, we have your water system. Everything is flowing. It will be the number of pigs you want to start with. Okay. But at least, um. If you have ten thousand, I'm very sure you can get a number of picks okay. to, to start with. And ten thousand, honestly, by one year time, if you are serious, uh, you are going to boom. Okay. It's going to be big for you. Nice. Provided you have the right breeze and the correct type of type of picks. Um, at least minimum, not more. It could be more, but uh, when you have about ten thousand. You can get no more pigs to, 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 to start with. Okay. But that is the fix. Now you are going for the feed. The feed to, the feed to start, because almost a month in our, in our farm, you almost a month, you are spending for feed, only feed. <laughs> we are spending over 20,000. Wow. Over, over, over 20,000. As well. Mm. On feed. Not wages, only feed. Only feed. I think when it comes to animal farming, one of the main costs has to do with the feed. Is, is the feed. Because well, the money. feed is expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one other thing to you don't have to let them grow to become too big before you sell them. At least three or four months, when you see that they've gained a little weight, you can let them go. Because you have the, you have the mothers and the father, they are all always ready to, to to produce more yeah so you let the new ones go for for, for new ones also to come okay yeah, okay. yeah. Um, but at least if so it means 
twenty thousand feet. Based on the number we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah like mm -hmm. close to two hundred pixels. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Based on the number we have. So if you have ten, you are not going for that. If you are so buying twenty thousand, that means they will, you feed them for so long. Yeah. Before, yeah. Very before. true. Very true. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. true. Yeah. But it's ten thousand for the pigs. You said on the farm. On the farm. Um, if people want the live ones, it's thirty-five. Thirty-five cd per kilo. The carcass is uh, thirty-five cd. Thirty-five cd per yeah. kilo. Yeah. Okay. It, it's okay. range from somewhere to there, but let me go by. By thirty-five. Okay. By the okay. thirty-five and the. So yes, yeah, so if you want some to acquire, just reach out to them. Yeah. And ask. You can come around to see the pigs for yourself, mm -hmm. and it's a media informed decision. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. On that mind, on that just very important question. I know when I talk to a pig farm. It's important to get the right breeds and the right pigs. What and what am I supposed to know if I'm going to a farm to see I'm buying pigs to start my own pig farm? Since you've been a new, because I, um, I, I'm doing business, mm -hmm. so I was also new into, into, into the business. I, I didn't go to the farm alone. Okay. I wanted an expert to make a good selection for me. Mm -hmm. And that is where I am now. Okay. That's that that even is, if you mm -hmm. don't know anything about mm -hmm. it. Go so with someone, go with somebody who can help you to get what you want. But if you think maybe if you take the person to the away and have to give the person some money or that, so you go along, you end up <laughs> getting buying what what you don't want. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anytime you want it, pick family. It's a whole. It's a broad. So you cannot stay in your farm to say you know everything. It's a whole lot. So you speak to people about how they do this, then you also balance it to cope with your. So it's like everyday learning every, process. Everyday learning yeah. process. That is that is it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what 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 man did they get to before you say you are crossing them? Oh, um, for the first time. Um, some about some from six man going. It's okay. possible Surprising. they will start coming on heat. Okay. So when, when they are on heat, you see it. When you, when you have an eyes, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm not sure any, any is uh, on heat now, but at least um, you know it. Okay. Yeah, you know it. Some say normally the, the, the vulva can become red. It becomes red. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It becomes red that you know that uh, it's on heat. Okay. And if it, it is a, 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 a boa. As soon as it's on heat, it will start ch changing. Or even the, the mother itself will change the, the man for crossing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll enjoy that and you can just put them in the key. Mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you see, you then you move to the, you move the female to, to, to the, to, to the, the base. And now it's very important. Like, so take crossing, a we, that is the best way how to do it. It's only when you think, uh, maybe you don't have enough room, maybe you have, Three or four female with one male in the room. That is when, on the day it will cross him, you, you didn't know. Yeah. So, uh, every pig get pregnant three months, three weeks, three days. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. So, if, if you cross it today, you put today's date and you mark it on Canada, as that day, it will, it will, it will, it will give birth. Three months, three, three weeks, weeks three, three days. Three days. Okay. So, when you have all these systems, it it will even help you to program ahead before um it will deliver. it will, it will deliver. Okay. Yeah. And when they feed in, I know I, so when they are pregnant, do you is that what type of feed you give them? Those are like the portions or like how and when they give birth to um we have piglet feed. When they give birth, we have a feed for, for the small ones. But because the mother is with them, the mother also enjoy the same feed. So you separate the piglet from, from the mother. They will start feeding the mother the old, uh, old, old feed. But when, when they are pregnant, you only have to make the feed, the feed rich, okay. little rich so that, um, the baby will look healthy to gain weight. Okay. Before, before, before delivering. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you give back at least, as I was saying, um, Three, three, three months, three weeks, three, three days. And like they know they, 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 they give birth. When they give birth, so, I mean, the kids, okay, you go ahead. When they give birth, we have um, an injection for the, for the piglets. We oh, give okay. them iron. 
So we enjoy them iron three days after the after the after the living. everything is ready. Everything is ready. That's that's all about peak. So peak is about studying. Okay. Peak is about studying. How to study? Uh, it's one way process. So when you know what you did for the other one, you do the so same thing to, to the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So I decided when he gives that three days time, you give, you the, give the iron. iron. You give the iron. Okay. Yeah. Then I started doing the iron medication again. Um. So be monitoring. Others, you see, uh, others will look a bit tiny, smaller. Mm -hmm. So be monitoring them. When when you see something like this, then maybe you can give out another um, iron just to, to boost the the okay. system so okay. that uh, it also can be able to eat well. It can be able to eat well. Um, then as some goes on, maybe in a month time, you can also give a uh, multivite so that it will start eating well. Okay. But after taking it from the mother, then you start giving them, they have a special feed also, that we can start giving the, the feed out. Okay. For, what is special feed? Uh, we have piglet feed. Okay. That's the one we give to the, the, the mother. When, when we separate them, you start giving them another feed. That will be equal to the... What the mother is the, we, mm, mm, Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. At least generally, from when they are feed, they all eat like the mixture of the wheat brown and stuff. All. They all, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let us do the mixture. Like what's, what goes into the feed? Um, we add wheat brown. We have wheat brown. We have soya. We have maize because all this one they are heavy. They have okay. it. Though the feed brown is not too heavy. But when you add maize, then the soya, it becomes heavy. So as soon as they eat even small, they start drinking water. They'll start uh, they will start new weight. We mix a uh, cassava cassava peel, include include the include, include the feed. Always always that the feed has to be rich, it has to be heavy. Balance diet. Balance diet. So that's so any small water that they, they know that something has entered to my stomach. They, to be drinking water and all that. We give them the green as I as I was telling you in the in the evening. Cassava peel, cocoa yam, leaves, plantain, all these green greens. Uh even the grasses or they eat all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So pick eat pick eat almost everything. Pick it almost everything. Mm. Yeah, so this this is what you've been feeding them on as sure, uh, sure. we see them now. Okay. Yeah. So, what mm. that? Look at the structure. Mm. So, I'm doing my pick structure. What are some of the things I'm supposed to take note of or to identify when it comes to the structure? Because you have your land. Maybe it's one acre land. So, we need to know how to demarcate. Your your stretcher, your your land. Mm -hmm. You cannot build to cover the whole the whole place like that. So if it is portion, if it's a certain portion that you want to have the stretches, then you use it that one straight. Then maybe afterwards, you want to proceed to another. Maybe you give a because there should be ventilation around. So you give another distance in between, maybe two. Two stretches so that okay. air can blow and all pass that through. pass through and all, 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 all that. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Apart apart from that, uh, pickery, pickery, the everything as I was saying, it's about learning. So you, you see to somebody's uh, what somebody has done, then maybe you modify it to, to improve it. Yeah. When some, somebody comes and see you on to the person will also like to have something like Similar. your own or even something beyond yeah so all sometimes depends on, on your strength on your strength because uh, you don't see this type of stretches for pig farming most of them you see the the, the short short buildings yeah. but we decided to go this way so that yeah. we can have yeah. ventilation and all that so that at least as we are here, we don't feel we can look, cannot smell. have any smell or all yeah. that. Yeah, we consider be here for longer hours. We, we, can't we, we considered all that before we put up such stretches, okay. but it's not necessarily or compulsory how to make it high. It depends on what you think you the want to, where, where you want to reach. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. and with the rooms, can you remember some of the dimensions you guys have in here? Um, we decided to make the room equal, but we find out we find out that. Uh, Certain rooms we need only one or two, so we have some of the room twelve by eight. We have them. We have them. We have some to twelve by eight by six. 
we have 10 by 10. We have them in sizes based on the number of pieces we want to keep in that in, in that in that room. Uh, so it will it will tell you somebody don't even mind to make it a uh, 15 by 10 so that to be able to keep more more piglets there after winning them from from their mother you can keep more by identify them you can keep more in that room okay. uh, so it depends on how you want to uh, enlarge your room or make it bigger or, or small but some of our our, our rooms uh, eight by six 10 by 12, we have some to 8 by 8 and all, all, all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But like, uh, the rooms are quite big. The rooms are quite big, yes. Because yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. next time, you want, want to pile up a little more in, in, in a room. Okay. Uh, so that uh, we can have more rooms available for. Because currently, you don't have rooms. Yeah, yeah, as I said, 200 pigs. Uh -huh. The beds are full. Some already, yeah, some already pregnant. So that is why... We'll yeah, be giving back yeah, in three months, three weeks, three days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why we are advertising ourselves to people to come in. Yeah, yeah, come and yeah, get to come and buy so that at least we can have other rooms for okay. for the upcoming ones. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yes. So as I was, I've been saying, mm. so you guys need quality breeds to buy, quality pigs, good pigs that at least you know from their lineage they give birth to a number, a lot of pigs from eight plus and stuff. Yes, all of the ones that if they have seen giving birth. The minimum is like eight. Yeah. And I really have some of them, some died 18, and all. Uh, yeah, um, so you can have like more numbers and stuff here on the farm. So yes. If you need live picks to start your own pick farm, as I look at this video, look no further than ENM farms or EM farms. Yeah. Um, it's not that far from Accra. It's very close by where you can quickly drive through, measure the farm, see what they have in here, and apply some of them um, for yourself. So yes. That, that would be good for, for you guys to at least try yeah. and, and get. So like it has to be elevated for air to pass through yeah. basically. And at least it has to be the block we so at least yes. for you know, I realize some of them were eating through the blocks. Some some of them were eating through, through the blocks. In fact, if I should tell you the number of cement I use for this breeding, but yet they are able to eat they are able yeah. to eat it. If I tell you the number of bags for this small area, yeah. Almost eight bags yeah. or more. Eight. And after the screening, how to spread about a whole bag on it to make it rigid, to make the floor hard. Yeah. Sometimes even more than more than a, a, a bag or something. Okay. You don't know what piece. You don't know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want. Whatever you do, they'll spoil it. Okay. Because we did we did the best best work, but over there is it's one of the best. But yet we did the best, so but you can see so, that they are trying yeah. to be eating some of them small small but they don't know what 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 is causing them eating them? um they they smell sometimes they hear the type of scent they hear they try to eat to see what is inside so it's mm. nothing but they try to because they hear smell they want to know what they it want is. to know what is it so they will they, they are spoiling the body eating it mm -hmm. okay yeah okay. Mm. that's nice that's yeah nice. that's nice so that is the EM farms. With about 200, close to 200 pigs. Close to 200 pigs. And the rooms are? 25 rooms. 25 rooms. 25 rooms. With our uh, first one behind, which very soon, maybe by, by our next visit, everything will be ready. Nice. And nice, then nice. maybe we we'll move you to see our uh, cows to somewhere in Asama Yeah. 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 We we'll uh, like to have a look at yeah, those yeah. houses as well. Then our. I think our social media handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, our social media handle for Instagram and Facebook is uh, EM Farms Enterprise. When you enter EM Farms Enterprise, I think you see our logo, then our everything, yeah, on, everything Facebook. on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Yeah. We are working out with our website. We have a little issue, so we don't want to bring it out for now. Sure, sure. So sure. for now, Facebook and then Instagram, uh, EM Farms Enterprise. Nice. Then, if you're in a contact, you can call my number to 0244-652-404. At any time you call me, I'll pick your call, then <laughs> we communicate. Yes, you do business. We need you to visit our farm. That's yeah. the most important. So, do well to come. Nice. Don't, don't hesitate. Don't fear. We are there to do business with you. Nice, Thank nice, you. nice. I believe this will close out the video. As I said it all. It's not every farm that they would be open arms. That's okay. You guys can come um, along, come and see what you have on our farm, um, come and learn, and see what you have. If you want something to buy it, you can get something to buy as well. So, yes, 
Um, you can reach out to him, check out their social media pages, um, and then they have to see what they have in here. I know most of you guys want to also visit. Those of you in Accra, it's not that far. Can you actually drive through? Come and see for yourself what they have in here. If you want to start something similar, so you can at least take a look. It's not everything that we looked at in this video, but you can come around, look at what they have in here, what is going on in the farm, and pick one or two things that will be beneficial to you as well. So yeah, this will close out the video. Make sure you like this video for me. Like to YouTube, recommend it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all go together. That's how we see it. 100,000 subscribers before the year end. So please, if this video happens to appear on your timeline, please subscribe to the channel. And share. The people who need some of this information to start their own farm, to learn. As I just said, pig farming is an ongoing educational thing. Yes. That yes, each and every day you can get to learn something new. Yeah. Uh, as well, like in the business. So yes, share to people who are want to start, and even those who are already into the business can also get to learn something similar on the farm as well. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.